Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we're going to be deciphering a message here. Well, it's not really a whole message, it's just the one word, but um, you get the idea. So what we've got is a conversion table so that you know how we started off when we started with the original word. We've got the, uh, the new word that we got from using the enciphering code that you see here. So we used uh, this um, mapping x onto 3 times x plus 1, and we were working modulo 26. So what we need to do to decipher the message is to do the opposite of multiplying by 3 and adding 1. So for the deciphering formula, let's use y instead of x. What we know is that we've got to multiply by whatever the opposite of 3 is. Let's just leave that for now, let's leave a space for that. And what we've got to do before then is the opposite of adding 1. So that bit's easy, isn't it? So the opposite of multiplying by 3 and adding 1 is taking away 1 and then multiplying by what we call a multiplicative inverse of 3. Now we found this last time, we saw that because 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 is congruent to 1 in mod 26, that 9 is a multiplicative inverse of 3. So it's a bit like in ordinary arithmetic multiplying by a third. So in modular arithmetic, a multiplicative inverse of 3 is 9. So all we need to do to get back to the original word is use this deciphering rule. So in other words, we first of all actually need to use the conversion table, don't we? So if we look at the top of the page, we can see that L is the number 11. B is 1, G is 6, W is 22, and D is 3. Right, now we're ready to apply our deciphering rule. So we need to subtract 1 and then multiply by 9. So starting with 11, 11 minus 1 is 10, so we've got 9 times 10, so that's 90, and... We need to subtract how many lots of 26 away from that to get down to something that's between 0 and 25. 3 times 26 is going to be 78, isn't it? So 78 away from 90 is 12. So that will do nicely. So 11 is going to map onto 12 using that deciphering rule. Right, next one, we've got 1. Oh, this is going to be easy because 1 subtract 1 is just going to be 0, and 0 times 9 will still be 0, so that gives us 0 for the second number. 6, that will map on to 6 subtract 1 is 5, 5 times 9, 45, 45 take away 26 will be 19. And then... 22 take away 1 is 21, times 9 is 189, and 189, oh, that's a big one, isn't it? So, looking at the 26 times table, 26 times 7 is 182, so that gives us a remainder of 7. And then the last one, 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times 9 will be 18, and that will be it. So now... Looking at our conversion table, 12 is M, 0 A, 19 T, and 7 is H, and 18 finishes the word off for us.